what's up youtubers today i'm off wakefield road in bradford and we've got a tip off from one of our subscribers a lot of respect for you you know who you are and today what we have here is just old headstones from the original burial ground which was just outside the church itself and shortly we will talk to a representative and give us a bit of a background and what i'm going to do now is i'm going to see him the ours he's probably just having a look himself uh absolutely amazing uh stones here holding a lot of history and uh we'll have a closer look anyway i think empty is just around here empty yeah. what a find i know and thank you for one of our subscribers to uh pointing us in this direction and yeah, that's what the channel's about know it is. you know sharing the information so my name's uh chris i've uh, been in this church since i was about 14 years of age in east bowling and uh, when i first came i was just a young lad and um, yeah went to church every week and around at the same time as i came they decided they were going to widen wakefield road they started to do that and as they did that they needed to remove a lot of the graves from the peripheral ed edge of the, the church they were all uh, dug up and lime lots of lime was put in the ground to um to obviously make sure there were no disease or anything around and then uh, all those uh, remains were taken to Bowling Cemetery and reinterred there and then the gravestones were moved to the edge of the uh, graveyard as you can see and um, over to my right there's where uh, church hall is when we got permission to uh, build the uh, church hall on top of graves and we had to, it took a long time to get the permission to do that but eventually we did it's been a great success today to have the church hall and the car park to sort things out. That's great. And just to confirm, this is this is St John's Church in East Bowling. Um, yeah. So St John's in, in East Bowling, it would uh, start. They started to build St John's at uh, 1840. They finished building it in 1842. What's really special about this building? It's made out of cast iron. So Bowling Ironworks, they built it for their workers. And St John's Church, it really started in two little cottages just over to my left here two little cottages two ladies started a small church there bowling iron works spotted that they needed a big church for their members their workers to come to church on a sunday morning mm -hmm. and therefore they built this church out of cast iron so mm -hmm. it's not made out of stone inside it's cast iron oh, have you got any plans for these uh, stones or? so i suppose what we what we need to do with, with these stones is just to keep them maintained and uh, we've got a legal ob obligation to do that uh, to make sure they're safe just in case anybody is walking past make sure they don't fall over but hopefully they will stay there an opportunity for people to visit and uh, you know check up on their loved ones and uh, memories of the past really yeah that's great yeah it's nice to see that they've been preserved anyway yes yeah. and uh, yeah. yeah it's just uh, it's just amazing that um that they were they're preserved and they're actually here and yeah. people to and see. And if, if you do look carefully you will see some very sad things like because people's average age was a lot younger under 40 uh, to, to what it is yeah. today so there's a lot of young children yeah. buried here and uh, yeah. but not many people over 40 people yeah. died in those early years under 40 so you know, have you got a torch or something or? yeah everyone's I mean look how beautiful it is it's even what what I find absolutely stunning and amazing is the fact that look at the the blackness that's not the color of the stone that's the color of the of the muck and the smoke from the mills right and it's it's remained on here so it, it sort of gives a um that's amazing in itself so what you're touching here is actually a bit of a time machine it is and i remember a lot of bradford's buildings used to be blackened like this it was very normal um you know to see blackened buildings like this around bradford and it's, we have it here Look at this. I know. Holy Bible. Yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. I mean, there are quite a few behind, and obviously, we won't be able to get into uh, much of a detail, but. It is a bit of a darkish corner, so we've got a, a light 
on these uh, stones. I'll just show you just round here, back of that. Well, you can actually see them all laid across there, can't you? Oh, you can, yeah. All standing. It's just, it's absolutely amazing that yeah. they've been saved. Um, if you just, again, this is blackened of, uh, due to the smokes from the mill. Obviously, no burning coal. Yeah, there's, there's a few here. It's even got the plot numbers. <laughs> oh, yeah, amazing, amazing. So, yeah, so we'll go back on ourselves because there's quite a few stones there. <laughs> this is actually the side of the church. Um, in a snicket away from the public oh, here he has. yeah david gill died march 27 18 1849 as i said yeah 1863 oh. is 43 years yeah Pure granite, look at this, absolutely I solid. I don't know, would you be able to see what it says? What there, do you think? I don't know, can you flash a torch? Very difficult to read. <laughs> I have no idea how that's turned out, but I'll put it in. <laughs> <laughs> Adds to the uh, the realism of it all. Yeah. Right, if you just hang on to that, and I will try to get over it. These are too deep around here, aren't they? Yeah. And there's all sorts of different styles and designs. Imagine yeah. these will have been, you know, on, on people's graves in the cemetery and they will have paid good money for them. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This is an interesting one as well, isn't it? Let me just... Down on it. You know, the same thing is it? I mean, these are very heavy monuments. Very heavy. And how on earth they moved them from Whitfield Road to here? It just uh, amazes me. Another one here, which is the face is blown on this one. Yeah, it has. There's not much left of it, really. And then over here, I'll just pull these to one side. You can see this one. Look at this. I think I'm lost in the trees at the moment, <laughs> alright, so I feel you're all going to have a good laugh at this, but I mean look at this. <laughs> oh god. So that would have been roadside, So oops. over here, on the Wakefield roadside, which has been pulled up and saved, and that oh. was for... I wonder how that's been carted across here. I know, and it was in loving memory of Henry M Milnes. Died October the 9th, 9th uh, 1893, aged 73 years. So there were like, like, at least three people in this, in in what would have been. Yeah, the original plot, yeah. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Right, okay, as you can see, there's uh, quite a lot of greenery as well around these uh, stones. And we'll do our best to show you close up uh, detail. There's one hiding there, as you can see. Behind that, look at this here. Yeah, the face is completely gone. Totally isn't it? gone. We've got somebody right behind there, Hannah Sharp. And uh, I think this is amazing when you look down here, you see them sort of 
you know, three deep, two or three deep. I mean, look at this. Esther, the beloved wife of William Dunn, June the 5th, 1886, 1866. Right, I'll just go behind there and see. There's a little one over here, John Hudson. to work out isn't it? Yeah. It's set quite low. I just cannot believe how many there are. Yeah. So this is more in the open. Look at that. Okay. That's been damaged there. Oh, what a shame that's been damaged. Yeah, yeah. I think it's an angel or something isn't it? Yeah. Jury, the beloved wife of Cornelius Wilby of Bowling, so obviously a local person. This is a lovely headstone as well. Let me just see if I can just. That's beautiful, that. This is. I think again, Riaz, with this, the you know the people would have never have expected their bodies to have been removed and their headstones placed elsewhere. That was really awkward to shoot. I don't know how he's come out, but... Yeah, it's, it's, uh, you can just about see them. A lot of them, isn't they? Plenty. There's a lot. It goes on, on. It's a bit here. I mean, imagine lifting that. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not yeah. going to try, but there's definitely some weight in there. And it's at off sticker lane, bowling. 1892, those are sort of dates that are on there. It's um, it's funny you got to look carefully. They are camouflaged, aren't they? They are. I mean, I just, I just love this little uh, Bible over here. That sort of chiseled into the stonework. Yeah. It's just such a work of art, isn't it? 
Okay, we've got one across there. Yeah, that might be a bit difficult. To yeah. Yeah. Bit of a quick video, it's very breezy here, yeah, so I'm hoping the audio's come out okay. But we'll show you the spot where these uh, headstones actually came from. We're still inside the grounds of the church. So, uh, yeah, yeah, so obviously in the, in the late 60s. So, so widening, widening Wakefield Road. So um, a lot of the headstones, I believe, came out of here. So that's all that we saw just now. They're all from here. So the, the churchyard was extended up to here. That's right. Somewhere, somewhere beyond uh, these railings uh, uh, were where right, we're not all these headstones were. Yeah, we're not sure exactly where it starts from, but get the idea. Yeah, and obviously the uh, the bodies from here they were uh, reinterred into Bowling Cemetery. Right. Which um, I think they're a bit of a mystery at the moment as to where they went. Right. So that's a, I suppose that's a. And those across there the, uh, are the headstones. Yeah. But the bodies are being interred in West Bowling. Yeah. Or Bowling Cemetery. Yeah, yeah. It's a, a very iconic church, just off uh, Wakefield Road. I mean, we drive past this more or less every day and look what we found. Yeah, I don't know any significance of anything yeah. in history. Who would know? Even if you walk on this path, yeah. you wouldn't know all the headstones right. yeah, yeah. from that part of the graveyard which no longer exists. Right over there, yeah. to the left. Right, we just arrived at Bowling Cemetery and look, the sun's come out so quickly. Yeah, beautiful day, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. Four, four seasons again in one day. I know, it's a beautiful day for it. Sad event, I'd say. Yeah, <laughs> you've got some idea where this uh, <coughs> plot is, don't you? Yeah, it's in uh, a, a section six, and we've got the plot numbers, and um, section six and, the, and that plot number corresponds to this area. Right. So, oh, we just found the other way. It's just right yeah. it's on the corner. Right, let's yeah. get a bit closer. This plot here, is this the area? This is it. And look, the headstone have you seen? It's it? not all that big, is it? There you have it, St John's Churchyard, Bowling, 1968. Um, quite moving really to say they've been moved to, uh, due to a road widening scheme and um, it's a very small plot. Well in the name very of small. progress. Yeah. Um, Seems to be around about that time there's been a lot of activity. Yeah there has and um, I think what's, uh, what's surprising is 642 bodies that were moved. Right, let's just pan across here. <coughs> so it's just that area here. How many bodies did you say? Sorry. 642, which is 581 adults right. and 61 children. So they're buried in here, which equates to about, uh, well in the document it mentions that they've been put into 20 boxes, which means there are 32, approximately 32 people per box. Which is a lot. Never heard of it. Never heard of that. Yeah, it's um, and it's a small plot. I thought eight was enough from our, our previous video. Yeah. Right. So um, what we're we'll trying to do is try to work this out, the size of it, uh, because there are there are several plots, okay, which are which build up this very plot. There are eight plots. Okay, which is uh, section six, grave numbers 587, 588, 589, 590, and also 619, 620, 621, 622, and them are standard grave, right? A uh, grave size plots. And uh, they're all in here, yeah? Yeah, and they're all in here. Uh, so you can imagine standard grave size plots, eight of them, and there's 20 boxes making up 620 bodies. Which is a bit of a shock, really. Right, yeah. Let's, uh, let's just um, have a walk around. Well, at yeah. least with this one, there's a marker. Yeah, that's it. That's a good thing. And the, I think, again, the worrying thing is that nobody knows it's, it's, it's here. Yeah. And we've made various inquiries and, and research, and nobody knows where it is. 
it's um, it's a sad again that something's been forgotten. Do you think you'll be able to measure just to get yeah. a perspective? I'll measure it. Let's try. It's a windy day. <laughs> the edge. Right. Let me just put my just foot on it. So 16 foot. Yeah. Is the width. Yeah. The width. Yeah. And I'll just come across there. Give you a hand. Oops. Sixteen foot by sixteen. Yeah, and uh, here he has it. Uh, Six hundred forty-two bodies here. Twenty boxes. How does it fit in? Yeah. Well, it gives you an idea. Uh, thanks for bringing the tape over. 16 feet by 16 feet. Yeah, like the uh, other one that we did recently, the Bradford Cathedral internees that were brought here. Um, I suspect there might be some sort of a returning wall in the ground um, because you can see some sort of, some sort of a, a, uh, an indentation in the grass. Yeah. Around here. Gives you an idea. I don't know where the burial records are, maybe back at the church, not sure. Yeah, possibly, yeah. Yeah. Possibly. The other thing is, there's a, we are pretty certain there's a personality that's buried in this area that we're doing a film on. And he was involved in a, a major crime scene in Bradford. And we're going to release that video end of the year. So there are personalities in here which have a lot of history. And we're pretty certain he's buried here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's famous throughout the country. It's right. Awesome. If any of our viewers want to come and have a look at the uh, the burial plot from those interred from St John's uh, Church, um, you need to um, enter the uh, uh, the graveyard by, uh, via Bowling Hall Road. Okay, uh, uh, through the gate, and it's on your fourth right on the corner, and you'll see the uh, the headstone there, the marker stone, which is right here. One more look. So there you go, that's another mass grave and it all stems from our previous video about the Bradford Cathedral. The more we do the research, the more things we find in plain sight. But I hope you've got something out of this video, it's an education for us all. And uh, thanks for subscribing, liking and sharing our videos and we'll see you on the next vlog, peace out.